is so peaceful. The peaceful radiation. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Rochambeau here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Welcome back to Far Harbor. We're playing the DLC. And I got to tell you guys, the worst thing in the world just happened. I know you're just bouncing right in from the last video. But what you don't know what happened here is my internet went out for like an hour. My internet never goes out. For a long time, I had pretty crappy internet. And now I have like 250 or 275 down and like 35 up. It's supposed to be 25 or something, but it constantly boosts way above what, the, what, I'm, what I'm specced at. And it was down for like an hour and everything comes through the game all day. Have nothing. All, the only thing I had was my weak ass cell phone signal. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. All right, let's let's play, guys. Let's play. Oh, that reminds me. I, I had to kill the upload, too. All of a sudden, the upload hung, and yeah, it was a bummer. Well, a young lad, no higher than your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable and started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened. Oops. All right, I was I was thinking we'd have more. Oh, what's this? Aster. If you just add an F, you can go faster. Oh, what the heck am I talking about? See if I edit it, I would edit that out. <laughs> we ain't alone here. Okay, here we go. What? What the heck? Oh, great. I'll take care of the other guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 <laughs> There's a whole lot of whoa going on. Let's, um... Let's get a, a weapon that's got a little more, um... I think this guy right here. Oh. Okay, you know what we need? It's time. It's time. Stimpak. Psycho. And tats. Buff out. Ash. <laughs> Hitman, what? Ho ho. Gulper innards. Cutting board? Jeez. Thought this would be easy, did you? Let's go help homeboy out. There you go, Hancock. <clears throat> You're a typewriter. Okay. Let's uh boom. Gulper's got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Uh-oh. Good thing we don't see too many of them around. That's got to be like a death claw gulper. Guess we got no what was that? Uh -oh. fine. Where? Oh. Super bright. I love it. Let's 
do a quick game save, guys. How you guys, how you guys doing out there in La La Land? So a ghoul walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve ghouls here. Ghoul says, that's right. Human friend. <laughs> uh, I laugh at dumb jokes. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead, seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with entrance into our family. On second thought, I'm good. So be it. But I would be mindful where you step. After all, you are in Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Okay. I don't know if this stuff is... I mean, blight sounds horrible. <laughs> I don't know why I'm harvesting it. <laughs> let's go. go ahead. The air is clean. No fog. Gady is not too far now. Is it nothing else to um, harvest? Yeah, none of this stuff. Okay, let's go. Uh, no more. I'm not going to harvest any more of that stuff. Is this it? That wasn't that, f that much of a hassle at all. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. And we've arrived. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just make that sure laugh. if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? Oh, is this... Do I want to bring him as a companion and then ditch? You should come with me. I could still use your help. <laughs> All right. Why the hell not? Beats drinking alone. Oh, what? Longfellow's cabin? Hancock. Look who it is. You heading out again? Let's do it. Done. Yeah, I'm going to keep, send old Longfellow to Longfellow's cabin. That sounds right. Okay, that works. All right, boys and girls. Let's do a quick game save. You with me there, buddy? Yeah. I like swashbuckler Hancock. Let's do it. Get a drink of this coffee. It's nice and fresh and hot. 
That was a 40% lie. It's only about 60% hot. Blech. Yeah, guys, it was horrible. No internet. <laughs> Couldn't do schleicht. <laughs> Couldn't do schleicht. Trying to cut back on the swearing, guys. Can you tell? I'm just substituting stupid words. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling. But I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't mean to question ridiculous. you, but what's the first memory you have? Uh, I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... What's happened since then? But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer Wait, into another mind. That's all just data, though. Isn't it funny what? how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People. Places. Even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. <laughs> Guys, don't fall for that bullshit. 
If there's no objective truth, there's no objective truth. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. What you know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Help Chase, help Faraday, help the sense of Acadia. I mean, I'm not gonna not help him, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually help them. Where's, uh, where's the girl? This way. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. We'll, we'll come and talk to them later. Let's go see what's up with the girl first. I mean, I don't know. If this was like real, I think the only thing I would do if she's like, I'm not going back, I'd be like, look, dude, <laughs> I'm not, I can't force you to do nothing, but you need to like go talk to your folks and explain to them WTF is going on because that's not cool. All right. You got to at least explain to them. Get like face to face. Communicate with them. Am I doing the wrong thing here? He said down below, right? I guess I have to go back in. I must have missed some stairs or a door or something. Oh, duh. The very f this was the door that was um that was locked, and he must have gave us a key or unlocked it. Cool. Check out the super bright, yeah, super bright pit boy. You do what you gotta. <laughs> it's not stealing, is it? It's not red. Where is, is this her? So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? I assume you're not planning on staying long. Is there a power armor fixer up there? So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's... Am I over encumbered? No, sweet. Miranda. New guy, right? Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. <laughs> Now's not a good time. What's wrong? We're doing this anyway? Even after saying I don't want to talk? God. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah, well, you couldn't have, so just forget it. Okay, Jewel. Oh, there's more. Let's look around here a little bit, though, first. Doo doo doo. Yo, Miranda. Well, let's say hi. <coughs> cool socks. So arms. you're that new fellow from Arm the Commonwealth. Socks. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? Getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday, once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. Oh, maybe she's a companion? You're safe here. That's what really matters. Hmm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Oh, maybe can I get... Let's see. Hey. I just want to see if I can get her. and humans will all get along someday. I just know it. I can't wait to get out of here and travel. One day, I'm gonna get out there. Uh, and I wonder see if the I missed a chance to um, Naveen. To get, maybe not. I don't know. Who else is around here? I assume you're not planning on staying long. 
Is there a problem with my being here? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. Okay, let's talk to this one, Aster. Excuse me. So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? You're the one who lives here. What do you think of it? Well, I... I think it's all rather <laughs> compelling. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. So, what exactly are you doing? As much as I can, given limited resources. Cataloging specimens, observing evolutionary trends, compiling data for future generations. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Okay, Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Feels like home in a way. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that, uh, I don't know, that abstract feeling of belonging someplace. We all belong here, in our own way. Dima's to be thanked for that. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe, but then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pessimism. Sure. Let's take a look. Now we're talking. We're, you know what we're looking for, guys. We're looking for a fusion core. Straight to the Fs. Oh, heck yes. Whoops, what happened? I wanted to... Dang it, come back. I love it. Okay. Oh, it's no door. <laughs> Let's step back right away. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, what's down there? Oh, that's where she is. Look, she's chilling right there. All right, we'll leave the power armor here and let's get on downstairs. Here we go. Ugh. Circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean... Those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of 
Waking up in a lab? Years I can't remember from when I was a kid? <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. I don't know. Those don't look like anything I can use. Let's try A. I know it must be hard for you. I just want to make sure you're here for the right reasons. Yeah, so I am. I mean, yes. I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here with Acadia. There's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've done enough running. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but... The security on it is crazy. Hmm. Despite knowing next to nothing about hacking, I'm really confident that's my best option. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Well, I'm gonna let... Where's Hancock? I'm gonna let Hancock... Oh, it's not... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I thought I had Nick with me. Dang it. Okay, well. <laughs> Oops. Let's go see if we can do it. I, I doubt it, but we'll see. Oop. Oh, it's up. Yeah, guys. Internet down. That was crazy. They're uh, switching our companies. Nice. What the heck is this? There we go. We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island. The same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, 
but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have. But I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Well, we got a got a big info dump there, guys. So it looks like we're gonna we got some. Yeah, it looks like we got some factions to choose from. Did they leave? They left. All right, let's do a game save. Boom. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to talk to Dima, but whatever it is, we'll find out in the next video. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a great day.